It's hard to what? Oh, because you're on your phone. That's okay. It'll just probably what? pause your video. Um, okay, let me just retweet it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tag. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So. You got it. I think yeah. I retweeted it just now. Oh yeah, we're oh yeah, we're gonna get it. This is gonna be a good one. Okay. We're fucking uh, riding. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen. We're gonna play my theme song. It's gonna be absolute gas. This one bangs. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me just reset this. Oh, I'm excited. Let's go. We're riding. Hype happy hour. Hype happy hour. Talking about life, so you might feel empowered. Hype happy hour. Hype happy hour. Tornado on the mic with a guest giving power. Hype, hype happy hour. Hype happy hour. Tools, interviews, provide life tapping. Let's freaking go. Hyped Happy Hour, episode 31 with my girl, Ashley Duncan. Listen, we are here. I created a company called Hyped. Hyped is an acronym that stands for happiness, inspiration, positivity, enthusiasm, and dreams. If you look down at the bottom left, I have a logo with an H with a heartbeat in the middle because we never know how many heartbeats we have. So here at Hyped, I am on a mission to live to just show people it's okay to live a better life, live through positivity. We're making this shit louder. We cannot stop. Today, I am joined by an absolute legend, a gem, a kind person, a funny person, an absolute motivator. Ashley, how are you? I'm wonderful. I am. Um, you can probably hear some people in the background. It's been a wild ride so far. I'm pumped because I, I love you, man. You're like the most. <laughs> Most positive person in the space and we're ready right now so like i'm just I, i'm fucking writing along with you i'm i'm writing so hard right now <laughs> let's go all right so we started off with what we're grateful for today so what are you grateful for today i am grateful for my fr friends that i i'm with i i'm with a great great group of friends like there are some of the people that i that are my writer dies um i have such a because I spend like every day with them, um, like on spaces and in DMs, and it's like a joy. So I, I'm so grateful for these conferences where I get to connect with them. Let's go. I absolutely <laughs> love that. Uh, IRL events are the absolute, they're goaded. Um, I'm mm -hmm. fired up for you guys. Okay, so what we do is we get straight into it. So I want an origin story. Give me like a two to five minute from childhood to now, who's Ashley? How did we get here? Give me, give me it. I want a superhero esque. Oh man, okay. So, so I'll try to speed it up. Uh, I was born um, and I had, had a birth defect when I was a baby. I was deaf. I've um, been here for a long time in my life. And I was uh, considered Asian. <laughs> so I actually was. And, you know, a school for the, um as you know a young child and then they discovered that i was deaf uh, in my ears and then i went to regular school from then on so that was like like a weird little part of my life you know and it, it made me super talkative because like when you, you don't hear for so long everything and you can talk and you i mean it was like 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 then i just was like like they made like just talk, talking like blah 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 
helpful. Um, so throughout my life, like I've always been like, um, you know, uh, I actually, my maiden name that I had in got married was Wiener. <laughs> so I used to get made fun of all the time. So all the time I get made fun of through uh, middle school, high school. So I had, you know, uh, I, I'm sure you can imagine the names. And then my, my, my first initial was, um, and so like, like every time, like on my gym shorts every year, I gym shorts. So it was just like, it was like a really terrible, I hated school so badly. So I was like, I graduated early. And then the next, you know, few few years, I kind of was DJing out. You know, I was waiting tables. I, I mean, basically waiting tables and, and causing trouble. Like, like I was just, you know, like gillis idiot. And then after a few years of that, my husband, um, um, at the time, he came down with pancreatitis, and he almost died. He was in the hospital in a coma. Um, so I had to take care of everything by myself. We were really poor, like we both were waiting tables. Um, and so I was like super behind on bills. And one night, like I, I was at the hospital every night for two months waiting in a coma. Um, and then and my, um, this man that I was with every day, he noticed one time I was crying with his mom, you know, boyfriend at the time's mom, that we, you know, we're so poor, we can afford to pay bills for him. Um, um, and so this man, randomly, the next day, he gave me 15 of my bills for that month. So it was like, my life changed a week or two later, my husband wakes up from a coma. Um, he just it's my oh, life forever. Go. Yeah, so for the next, you know, I spend my life like so feeling so blessed by this man that I ended up working at a bank, Bank of America. I worked there, um, you know, I was, I was really, really, really driven to be like a worker for me. Like I really wanted to be like poor and like having to you know basically take money from a stranger just to pay my you know built myself up in corporate america you know for years and years and years this year um i discovered um after buying a dogecoin uh i discovered uh crypto the crypto community and i got super excited and so in january 2021 i started like writing with the crypto community, you know, Dogecoin went to a penny after I bought it for 0 0.003. I was like, super, I was like, oh my God, I'm a genius. <laughs> you know, like when you get your genius all of a sudden. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, was in uh, crypto. I didn't dox. So I stayed undoxed for many, many months. And then I finally doxed myself in July. Doxed myself, the post went viral because my post was um i would love to because i i don't know very many that have docs and i would love you know to like post your picture self without makeup and i said please post your picture raw i'm beautiful i want to say something positive about me i had thousands of people posting it even guys so all these of themselves in every single comment literally it took me weeks to go through every and say something nice about, about somebody. So that yeah. was how I started originally. And then like I started getting like these weird DMs where people were like asking me to show them my titties <laughs> like all the time. Like I would okay. get that every day like titty. Show me your titties. Um, um so eventually I started making jokes about and uh, then, then I ended up uh, like with those jokes, like people really me making jokes about titties, like they thought it was hilarious. And I ended up getting like a lot of traction. I was like, oh, this is, this is cool. Everybody likes, you know, like silly jokes. Like this is my kind of community. It was most, 
community. Um, yeah. Um, so, like, I was still really skeptical at the time. Um, the Doge Pound actually uh, reached out to me, and they were like, hey, we would love for you to be in a tea project. And um, they gifted me a, a Doge Pound tea. Um, just for being a part of their community. Um, and I ended up with them and I just was like super excited because that was my very first NFT. And I was, I was like really 5,000 followers. Um, and they were really small too. It was like back when, you know, getting traction and like, like, like on Twitter. And yeah. then uh, sudden, you know, like I decide like, crazy side of my brain that I, I am going to create my, such a good, good idea. Uh, I'm going to call it crypto titties after crypto punks. So yeah. some of the design, like I made more of a derivative, but it was all hands done. So I got a pixel like iPad and I started like doodling with this pixel app and titties and, and people loved them so much uh, that I sold them out the collection it was crazy like like i never thought in my, my life that that i could possibly be creative in any way and so i sold out the collection and then one of my community members told me which is really cool you know what would be really awesome is if you donated uh, a portion that you tweet about titties so all the time and i had a friend of mine um many years ago he, he, well many years by by three years she had died a few years back from breast cancer like, like she was one of my best like she she was a family friend so i knew her my whole um and i was really close with her and i thought that was such a cool idea so i donated eight thousand dollars from what i made off of crypto cities to the american cancer society cool because they con contacted me back and they were like like this is the most money we've ever gotten from this lunch with you so they took me out to lunch and and it's like i i formed that connection we started thinking of ways to to raise money together so i've been connecting doing this thing and, and that's kind of where i'm at now i'm just working with them and kind of doing my own thing i in october of last year and uh, i've been rocking ever since let's go what a <laughs> Like what a journey! First, like your your husband waking up from a coma. Just shout out to that. Like that was yeah. just the absolute yeah. fire. Um, and then, yeah, like I had first seen you. Oh shit! I don't even know how long. But your video clip when you were on the news. What was that? Um, like right, you were on the news. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Like it, it happened whenever in cancer society um, had like. The they they basically were like funding money that I donated, and then they had done a press release basically where you know and I made a secondary collection with them, um, and was able to donate money through that survives. That, that one is like, like kind of lesser known because it's just like pure charity projects. So I paid, and, and then everything else that's going from Mint, we're, we're donating to charity. Um, so, so with Bloomberg, somebody contacted me from Bloomberg. I had already talked to Bloomberg back whenever I made some money because they were curious about my, you know, like how, how I thought about the, that, you know, whole thing. We would love, you know, we have a team in Dallas. We would love to have you on our, you know, quick take uh, TV show. And I was like, there's no way. So they came to my house. They took pictures of me. Then they gave me a time slot. And then I went on Bloomberg quick takes on the news and that, that was, was like really nerve wracking honestly like that was like a really pr proud moment but I I'm not gonna the whole time <laughs> yeah that was fire to be honest like it's wild how that worked out and then like the donation and all that and like brought you to mm -hmm. that like that's mm -hmm. so fucking dope what was that like after that did you blow up even more or what was your was the crypto titties the, the blow up moment for you honestly it was like it was that and you know like i had an elon musk uh, um the, it, it's called karen musk uh, uh so i put like a little karen wig um back when <laughs> he had like some 
JP Morgan, you know, drama. And then that when he responded and I will talk to their manager. Um, so that was something that was known in November. And then the Bloomberg interview happened in January. So I just kept from like, like memes. I had memes go viral. Um, you know, like I, I had, I'm crazy after that. Like, like, like until basically the bear market started, like I just, just I, I, I mean, like in this space, sometimes like even even though we're in such a neat um, um like it kind of makes you feel like a little mini celebrity you know like just like all these people yeah yeah gosh, you know that is cool yeah i think like we're in this like echo chamber and like uh <laughs> this is so funny this is this is like a side note but one time i went to the barber my wife was out of town and i went to the barber and i was like she's like what are you doing later today and I was like, I'm hosting, I'm hosting this like talk show kind of thing. It's called a Twitter Spaces. And she's like, Oh, that's cool. I was, she's like, like, how many people go? I was like, uh, you know, like maybe fifty to a hundred. And she was like, Wait, what? Like it was like the most mind blowing thing. But to me, I was just like, Yeah, this is just like normal. <laughs> but, so um, yeah, like we're we're in this like such echo like echo chamber. But it's honestly so much fun. Like that's what makes the IRL mm -hmm. events so much fun because you're just like. I can't wait. My, my wife is probably going to come with me to VCon this year. Uh, well, 2023. Oh, yeah. Yes. And I'm just like, I'm so excited for her to just like feel the good energy and meet, you know, like just such positive people. And like, I just feel like what mm -hmm. we're doing in web three is just like really going to just change the world. And it already is. agree with you, you know, like, like I, I felt for a long time, like this was my place to be like, you know, and, and this, this is something I guess in my origin story back last year before um, I was in a, a uh, like I, I did like a palm reading reading like a psychic you know yeah. I read my future and she predicted all of this and, and not in quite the same way that that it happened but she was like something creative will happen and you'll be able to be financially you know well taken care of in October over be able to like move on with your life september and october that's when, when it all happened september is when my october is when i quit my job and i thought back and i was like dang like this is crazy like i feel like the the you know i don't know i'm very i'm, I'm a very big believer in the universe so i feel like yeah no i think like the universe has your back. I love telling people that. I think that's like one of the best things ever. It's just like the mm -hmm. universe has your back. Believe that. Tell people that. Live it. And and like no matter how hard your life gets, like the, the universe wants you to win. And if you like keep that mentality, it's just like you know, like your husband being in a coma. Like you kept going, you kept going, and then this guy, this the angel comes out of nowhere, helps you, and then boom, he, two weeks later, it's like like they just like the universe wants you to win you just got to keep persevering yes yes 100 percent. like i don't know i think about that guy um and honestly like he was what inspired me too to you know do my donation people on this earth that needs so much and like at that time that that bit of in the space that's not that much money for them you know they'll spend that in gas um but for me that like that that changed my entire life. Without that, that I would have never. Life. Wow, that's wild. It's like he started your winning streak, and you just like you've just been on this crazy winning streak ever since. And that's so sick to hear. Like that's so that just like makes me happy. I uh, yeah I, I I love that. I wish, you know, I wish he had told me the envelope and walked away, and I never saw him again. So I don't know, that's crazy. like guardian angel. Yeah. yeah, for real. That's awesome. All right. All right. So we get into it and this is the perfect blend the bridge. I like to say the bridge between web three personal life. We do that all within hype and we go word by word. And the first word is happiness. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to share my screen. Um, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to read you my favorite definition of success by Ralph Waldo Emerson. So it's success. To laugh often and much. To win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children. To earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends. To appreciate the beauty 
to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. I love that. I love that. Let's go. You know, like thinking of, of other people like through this journey that are like, like yourself, like have your success in seeing you like work so hard and having like the fruits of your like, you know, to fruition. Like it, it makes me, it makes my heart so happy, you know, like I just love yeah, no, I really appreciate that. I think like if you're really genuine and authentic, like you can really do whatever you want. I think in life and and like you can see that because I think like authenticity isn't as popular nowadays. And so like if you're really coming from a place of your heart, whatever that means, if you if you're here to make money and but you're super authentic about it, like you're gonna have people that want to be around you and, and know that knowledge and, and grow with you. You know, if you're if you're doing different things like me, like people know who I am at this point and genuine and same like you, like people around you, they 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 listen to you, they they see you every day. And it's like when you're genuine like that, like it's almost like a level of customer service. Like you're building this community, but you like want to grow with them. And so I think that's, what's so dope about web three is like, we're all just growing on this crazy journey. And it's just like, what's going to happen next week. Like we literally don't know. I, uh, yeah. I, um, it, it, it's been a whirlwind since day one. I feel like every time, every time drama or a new, you know, crazy thing ha happening in the news or, you know, you know predictable, but I love it. Yeah, let's go. All right, so we go word by word. So if you guys see down here, I just got like an upgraded you you beautiful MFers. Now we're we're highlighted on happiness, and I'm gonna bring my trusty no, uh, notepad over here. So the first question under happiness is, what makes you happy every single day? Honestly, you know, like my husband. You know, my husband is with me every day, whether well, you know, um, uh, or you know, in person, like. He's somebody like he's in yours, you know, like we have known each other in and out and, you know, like he supports. So like, like every single day, I'm so grateful for him in my life. That's, that's awesome. How long have you guys been together? Uh, we started dating in 2012, December of 20. Um, yeah, almost 10 years. Exactly. Uh, uh, like in the next few days, anniversary. So it's, it's been a long time and then we were friends the year before no way that's dope that's cool <laughs> me and my wife just hit five years like a couple months ago so so we're on our way you're crushing it though that's awesome Aww. that's cool um what is what is the happiest moment of your life uh, you know i, I mean that is you know like my wedding day was the happiest moment and not just because I got to, uh, but because uh, there's people in my life that I hadn't seen in so long. Like, or, you know, like my dad and my mom got divorced when I was young. young. My mom left me age and then she came back in my, my adult life. Um, and, you know, my mom and my, and that was really cool because, because like, you know, people from divorce, like parents don't to see their parents together so much so it was really nice to see them both um no like our friend's side of the family uh, or his side of the family like that he hadn't seen in so long joy this moment like we were in um, um pine colorado um and, and there was his friends and family and it was just like it, it was like literally like play a day over and over who would be that one like not just because of the marriage thing and not because it's because it really legitimately was like an amazing day that's cool that's cool yeah i think like you just hit it you just hit the nail on the head like the weddings are so happy like they're just sat, such a happy moment um joy all around happiness like good energy just people just celebrating and that like you almost don't find that energy other places and so that's what makes it so special i think mm -hmm. yeah exactly i love for sure because i know it, it's cool 
people that talk to other married people and they, they feel the same way. Yeah, that's so badass. All right, give me some like top communities that you're involved in the NFT space. Like maybe just maybe some collections that you like that you, you might be a little bit more involved with the community. I'd say number one, I think is pretty obvious. This is Sappy Seals. Um, that's been communities. Um, you know, the Board Ape Yacht Club, you know, like that's been, um, I've really been vibing with, you know, the the d god and youths community like our youths but like i'm friends with a lot of their community so like buying them right now so really hoping to pick one of those up um uh, like i've been really close it's like some of my closest friends have psychedelic anonymous or um you know junior malik or some people that i've been friends with for a long time um you know, some people, and then, um, the gutter, gutter cat gang, like, uh, people like scuffed is one of my good friends. And yeah. like, there's so many other, you know, P packing community that I really like. So those are like my, my top five. I like that. I like the seals, the seals ride hard board ape, uh, is a given, uh, psychedelics anonymous actually i minted my i minted psychedelics anonymous so uh that was fun i, I sold it but uh, it was fun to be a part of i was a part of that for a while mm -hmm. yeah i think like there's so many sick communities like it's it's kind of crazy um because i'm pretty heavily involved in the v friends community but like a lot of the people that i interact with every day i would say like 95 percent of the people that i interact with every day are not involved in the v friends community which is beautiful yeah. because like i kind of almost have that home base that you can go back to like you could go back to the seals community like maybe you're you're hanging out with the youths community and like you're super involved with them but like you could always go back to the seals community and they're gonna be like oh my gosh like we're still we're still riding together and it's like that's what makes it so much fun is like there's these niche communities and they all have different aspects that you can really fall in love with. I think this is, it's a beautiful thing. I a hundred percent agree. I, I that's web three. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We're riding. Listen, we're going straight. We are going straight into inspiration. Um, I just got to say that you inspire me um just through your motivation through your story with your husband and i think like you just really want to spread a good message too so i admire you for that um give me one lesson in your life that you've had to learn the hard way oh man um well you know unfortunately um there's people in this life that will you know like heart um so there should be a big difference between you know being a push like positive because you know like 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 you know our friendship we have have a great friendship we you know we're riding together or you know like we're doing this thing right now together like this is really cool but you give that love and energy to that are not going to either match it or they're going your good heart so you just got to protect your heart heart from the people that that you know will hurt it that hurt in other relationships yeah i think I, I i vibe with that super hard it's it's really hard because like and i feel like you're exactly like this but it's like it's really hard to like i want everybody to be so good but it's just like it, it's not everybody is so good so it's like if you really sometimes you give too much like you get really hurt and so that's something i've definitely had to learn over life like to really like you know, like you pick and choose and you got to like, sometimes you got to be reserved and, and watch out for for yourself, for your own heart. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's the difficult thing is when you like, are like love everybody and you just want to yeah. be friends with everyone. And unfortunately you can't be friends with everyone. And that's the hard <laughs> yeah. truth, but you, you know, like that protects you and saves you and, uh, you know, that deserves it. But you know, I yeah. guess it's the best way to look at it. No, 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 I love it. I love it. Um, what inspires you about Web3 to make you want to be in, involved every single day? You know, on Web3, they work the hardest, you know, like, like, like everybody that I've seen in this community to fulfill their dreams. They're not trying to work for the man. They're not trying to work for corporate America. Maybe some of them are, but in their own way, like they're some of the most creative motherfuckers that I've 
ever seen in my life. It's just like, like the ideas that come out of this community and like the, the comedy about the space, like, like it's so like, like, I, I mean, whenever I like everybody says early to, you know, money or whatever, it's early to like these new ideas because for now I feel like even then we'll, we'll still have like these fresh ideas because everybody here like their minute like, like it's literally it, it's crazy how many talented people are in this space it, it literally like makes me want to be better every single day yeah no I, I absolutely agree with that and I think like the crazy thing is the access like you can get on a space and like maybe Elon shows up, right? Maybe Gary V shows up. Like this is like crazy shit you would never experience. Like think about Kevin Rose, right? Like he is un unbelievably successful. You can hop into his spaces and just talk to him. It's like, what the mm -hmm. fuck? And I was, I was on the phone uh, driving home from work today and I was just talking to this guy, Joe, that, that I've gotten close with. And he's just like ridiculously successful in Web2 and in the business world. And it's just like the – amount of knowledge that he was just willing to like give me for free was just like i was so grateful i think like you can really just information gather to really just grow yourself like level up yourself no matter where you're at even if you're top influencer or you're you just started it doesn't matter like you can always level up and get that knowledge i i agree with you 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 hit the nail on the head on that one Let's go. All right. All right. So do you have anybody in your life that you've looked up to that's maybe like an inspirational leader or someone maybe you look up to now? Um, you know, like one of my friends, she's actually in the room. Um, her name is Erin, the blonde broker. Um, she, she is like one of the men, like in the space, you know, she, she has, you know, not just built her following her like financial game, but she's like, She's like really smart, you know, she like she, she does, she knows how to do, she's very educated on tokenomics. Um, she's, you know, starting her own, own TV show, moderating all, all these panels, like speaking everywhere, like going all over, over the world. Just, it's so cool. Like I love, you know, having like, like that's one of my best friends. Like that's, and they are like killing it, you know? And so that's really inspiring to me. I feel like that, that's like, <laughs> no that's awesome i think that's that's incredible and i think like kind of what you touched on was like you can just find inspiration from all different kinds of people and then they it's it's like a, such a beautiful thing that like you guys are so close like i think that's so cool like you guys have grown close and now you're gonna grow with her and like that's mm -hmm. so sick to like someone that you admire but you're gonna grow with and like who knows what the future holds is like it's so incredible Mm -hmm. I love that. I, I love that about this space. I feel like that happens once they enter this space, you know, you just find your family. Yeah, no, hundred percent. All right. Listen, you got to give me your favorite inspirational movie. Um, oh, man, that's so, so hard for me because like my movie is uh, changed so much, um, but one of my favorite movies, I guess, I guess because like I'm a big Beatles fan across the universe, top movies. Like I'm a, I'm a sucker for musicals, and uh, across the universe, like like um like inspired me to feel like like creative, like feel like like I was like put in like a little box, you know, like my my family was very true. Me to you know to like grow up and get married and have, have a family, be a housewife, you know all those, you know. Um, and then and like as I got older, I got really really work heavy, you know. Like I was saying earlier, after, you know, working as as a waitress, and after my husband got out of a coma, like I just was a work working. I didn't give any time to being creative and, and like watching that movie. Um, um, you know, I had this creative, you know, part of me that's inside. I like that I just want to feed and be held back by, you know, the people around me or, or you know, the world be, be myself. And like, like, that's how I feel like that movie really was. Yeah, that's awesome. That is so cool that it like unlocked your creative side. I think that's, 
that's badass for sure. And then look where you're at now. You're just absolutely crushing. Yeah. Like what is just an awesome journey. Awesome freaking journey. This is great. All right, we're going to positivity. This is this is my jam. This is my jam. Make oh, it let's positive. Go. Let's, let's go. Make it louder. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just like I've been running. This is so funny. I just like a sidebar, but I've been running analytics on my tweet tweets because I'm like, I just gotta like be, I'm just really working on building the audience. And like some days the make positivity louder will hit and sometimes not. And I'm just literally committed mm-hmm. to tweeting it every day. I literally don't even care. Like I don't care if it gets 20 likes. Like I'm just literally tweeting it every single day. And it's just fire. This like the community just loves it. Let's I, go. I, I want you to keep doing it. Like that's that. Like I see them maybe today I'll just write the same thing. Or maybe, maybe one day I'll just add a positivity. Like I love that. <laughs> <laughs> let's go oh my gosh um okay so during positivity this is this is a little bit different of a segment so we talk about positive mindset and you know the the basic definition of positive mindset is is the practice of focusing on the good in any situation now that doesn't mean that you're just delusional right because real life is pretty intense right sometimes you get hit with your husband gets into a coma mm-hmm. but there is always ways to look at the positive so can you tell me and the people listening, like how you've focused on having a positive mindset and how that's helped you change your life or maybe just have a great life. Um, I'm you know, really positive no matter what's been happening in my life because it's like I, I have like a coping me- mechanism basically like this is going to sound really like totally out there. Coping mechanism of like imagining things the way that I want them them to be so like this is the life choices that i want to make in the future this is like how i want my life to ideas that i want and it's like a little movie in my head so like whenever i'm feeling down i think of the things that i'm gonna accomplish those things and then i feel like you know like it doesn't seem so hard it seems easier that way so then it makes me like motivated like you know instead of feeling sad I'm ready to tackle the day. I'm ready to accomplish my goals. I'm ready to do what I want to do, whether that be marathon or like, you know, starting crypto cities or, or like, I don't know, you know, like, like just imagining the, those things. Yeah. Like I, I feel like, you know, people forget to be imaginative and like use their, their, their mind reality a little bit. I mean, that sounds like maybe crazy but escaping reality i feel like sometimes um to bring yourself back and realize you know things can get no like uh, i think okay so a few things like obviously you're very very it you're very very like you like to manifest things which i think is incredible because i i'm a big manifester the second thing is that you've really doubled down on like positive self-talk which is just like you get up in the morning you're like it's gonna be a good day or throughout your day like you could be having a really tough day and you're just like you know what i'm doing a great job like sometimes you need to hear yourself say that to yourself to be like mm-hmm. "Fuck!" like mm-hmm. i'm doing the best i can and like You know, for me at work, like I don't really love my job, but I have a wall of photos of my family and my loved ones and my wife, my kids. And like if I'm ever having a tough moment, I just look up there and I'm like, fuck, like I have literally nothing to be upset about. I'm so grateful for that. And like you you find those little things where like you can turn right back into positivity and it's it's a work. It's for sure work that you have to do in your life. But like it's so awesome to hear you talk about that because like you've manifested a positive mindset. So now you can always have that. And now you're telling other people and then those other people are going and talking to a big, Oh my gosh, Ashley was telling me that she talks about what she wants and her goals and all this. And then they're talking to somebody else. And now your goals are out in the universe for everybody to fucking know. And it's just like, that's goes back to the universe has your back. I love positivity. Just flowing over like an ocean of love. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Fire. That's going to be a good clip. That is going to be a good fucking clip. Oh my God. Okay. Um, we basically talked on everything else under positivity. So we're going to get into fucking enthusiasm and we are absolutely riding. So, you know, Let's this is Nato's go. second. Yeah. Yeah. We are getting it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I literally can't do this inside the house because I'm too loud. That's how much enthusiasm I have. So um, this is a fucking good segment. Okay. 
So first of all, we got to touch on one life. We got one life. So why not have the most fun? Why not get up and fucking scream and love your life? The first question. Yeah. This is the best question. What are three things right now that you can't get enough of? Okay. Love uh, is it's like number one. I feel like, like from strangers, from, you know, like I just, you know, I, I love love. Like I, I, um, it, you said how, how many things? Three. You said coffee. Coffee is like a must like all day yes. all day keep it up i love that and then of course the, the third i have to say a titty tory <laughs> <laughs> that is number one for yeah. me they they, yeah. They, yeah. they legitimately it started out as a joke it makes me happy because it makes me think of like, like all the people i've made laugh because I get DMs so like that are like, oh my god, I think your titty tweets are hilarious. And then they see me in person, and everyone feel like get kid again. You know, yeah. like when you're saying like a dirty word just in public. So it's like, I don't know. I, I feel like it, it's so much more than like you know, it's like, like it's like I don't know. It's, it's a it's a whole thing. thing. It's a, oh yeah, yeah. I can't even. No, I love it. I think, uh, what, okay, so so tell me about your coffee. So you're drinking coffee throughout the whole day? Most, mostly, yes. Like, if I'm not drinking coffee, I'm drinking, like, like Coke or something. Like, I love, like, I, I'm very, very like, I, I, I smoke a lot. <laughs> so yeah. I feel like I have to balance that out. Um, I feel like yeah. the coffee, like, like, I'm usually like down to here you know like a bolt <laughs> so the coffee kind of like keeps me like going you know so that's the belt. <laughs> okay and okay what's your, what's your <laughs> what's your favorite coffee like do you have a, like do you just black or are you like you make a specific way oh oh coffee people are like okay so i i have this coffee that i, I love called crave and they have like different my favorite flavor is coconut cream and so i make this coconut cream coffee and then i have free vanilla creamer that i put in my <laughs> in my coffee and then i put split in my coffee and that is my my perfect coffee for the day and, and i chug like all day and all day let's fucking go let's fucking go i absolutely love it i love it that's it uh, i'm just straight black i just drink it uh yeah if I drank coffee throughout the whole day, it it would just it's it's not be good. It'd be like listen, I got too much natural energy to like I shouldn't even be drinking coffee to be honest. But like sometimes my like actually ninety percent of the time my middle son Blake wakes up through the middle of the night, and so like I like almost like I just love coffee, but like I almost need that coffee because sometimes mm -hmm. I get like two hours of sleep and I just like a little bit and then I'm just I'm riding. <laughs> I'm riding the rest of the day. I, I just like I'm overloaded and then I crash hard. I crash hard. Like I'll be fall, I'll fall asleep straight. Like when I'm done with this, I might go in, <laughs> talk to my wife for like five minutes. We should be like, let's watch a show. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, three minutes in, I'm asleep. I'm out cold. There's, I don't even remember what happened. <laughs> yeah. She's so pissed. I'm like, I can't control it. I, I don't, I don't know how. Um, and if I drink, if I drink coffee throughout the day, I don't even know what happened. It would be bad. So, uh, <laughs> I love that though. Coffee is incredible. Um, okay. What has been the biggest accomplishment of your life? Oh man, that's, that's hard. Um, honestly, I would say, And that's such a like I, I guess it would definitely be like web three related because the donation that I was, um I was able to educate the people at the American Cancer Society about, about web three that connection and I actually um in the past couple months um where they showed me what my research dollars got and it was research researcher he had been working for six months uh with his team at UNS, and, and uh he's working on how to cure cancer that, that 
forms or goes into remission. So like your your breast cancer can go to like different areas, like your head, like, like pancreas or something. Like it, it can go, it can travel. Um, yeah. And so mice, um, um, and so they're starting to make headway. And they showed us like these slides about like the progress that they've made. And, and I was like, I fucking did. I helped do that. Like people are fucking... like in 10 years, years they're going to have a cure for heads after remission. And that, that shit is fucking awesome. Like that, that, I don't know. That, that makes me so happy. That's fucking awesome. Like it's so that is crazy. That is wild. Um, the next question, and I, I think you, I don't know if you have another answer, but it's the most exciting moment in Web3. This is more like a one, ma- one moment that you might have been like, oh, fuck, that was exciting. I mean, you're, what you just said was pretty amazing. But like, if you have another moment yeah. where you're like, this was fucking, in, you know? Honestly, whenever um, I tweet about like the Karen Musk thing, when Elon responded back to my tweet, tweet and it was, that was like a really crazy moment like that that was the first time where it was like what like happens to people online that you think think only happens to like certain people and you're like, like that would never it happened to me like oh my, my god like i literally like 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 i'm i'm, I'm like that's that's how i felt like, like <laughs> you know you were like, like i fucking it, like, made it, it. Feels, like I, I I can't possibly like the day, the day that I that happened. I said like I I can't can't go any higher than this. Like who who else could possibly like uh, uh, hands up in the air? I'm done. <laughs> have you ever? Have you? I feel like you have. Have you seen the movie The Wrong Missy? On yes. Netflix? Yes. <laughs> when, when I have. She, oh my God. Your yes. moment. Your moment was literally when she walked in the hotel room and she's like, "I fucking made it." She's like, "All oh, my teachers can eat my ass." <laughs> that's the best. Oh my God, oh. that's hilarious. Oh, that was yeah. That that would be a moment. I would probably freak out for sure. I mean, to be honest, I mm-hmm. I, th- I showed my wife uh, that thread that Bark wrote about me. I was like, "Hey, listen, like." People like this is unreal. I don't even know what I did to deserve this, but I was like, this is fucking crazy. And it was nice to show her. So I couldn't imagine getting an Elon. That would be wild. I'd be fucking, I'd be screaming in the streets. Like we would be partying for sure. You'll get it one day. I, I can feel <laughs> it for you right now. <laughs> Let's go. I did, I did, I think I commented today something like he was like, the the moon he's like the rocket is shooting off and i said we're fucking going to the mood of positivity i was like i'm just gonna keep getting him i'm gonna get him don't worry oh man one day okay yeah okay so let's go into let's go into dreams um this is one of my favorite segments so just like you said like you're a big dreamer and i think like it's so important to 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 have that creative dream where like you're really thinking about what the possibilities in life are so endless that it's amazing to be a dreamer so this is like the this is one of my favorite things that I do. So I'm gonna ask you what the dream that you have for your life is. I'm gonna read you my dream, and then you're gonna off the cuff, off the dome, off the soul, you're gonna tell me your dream. Oh. So my dream is I'm gentle tornado. I'm an honest, enthusiastic, and successful man that will inspire others to live their life through happiness. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> well my my name is Ashley Decan, Titty Queen. Um, my, my mission in life <laughs> make people laugh uh, and also make people realize when making money, there's also giving to others too. Like, I, I feel like you can, I don't know, I want to inspire people to like give back. back. Like, that's my biggest goal to see me. And laugh and be like, you know, like I want to give back to the, that's the two things that mean me most to me in life. That's incredible. That was wild. Oh man, that was <laughs> awesome. Okay. What, if you could tell your 13 year old self one thing, what would it be? Oh gosh. Ooh, it gets, it's much, much better. Please. <laughs> Like, it's much. I said, you know, my last 
name was Wiener, so 13 years old was a very difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What well, was was high school just bloodbath? It was just terrible. I got beat up a lot. You know, like being a woman with the last name Wiener, you know, and early 2000s, um, you know, people aren't so kind. Like, uh, I feel like it kind of like uh, put me in this weird, weird position more guys and girls because, you know, like, you know, you have there's some rumors that go around about how you blah, blah, you know, ridiculous stuff but it made me more like made me like so much more of a tomboy than i ever started that, that's it toughened my skin a lot, a lot honestly yeah yeah i think like it's fucked up that you had to go through that but it probably made you way stronger and i think like going through hard times like that and, and going through some fucked up times like even like like a, like a parent divorce, like that made you such a strong individual that shaped you into to where you're at right now in your life. And like, it, it's honestly like you got to face some fucked up shit to get like through, through things and grow as a person. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's heavy, but it's, it's all. hundred percent, hundred percent. I have to say like when people pass away, uh, I've lost quite a bit of family members, but like, the only thing that I can think of, like, is, of course, it's sad. Like, you never want to see anybody go. But, like, if you live your life with the lessons that they've taught you and remembering them for the good times, like, you're truly, like, like, like paying, like paying it to them. Like, you're like, you taught me this. Like, my grandpa taught me this. So this is what I'm doing to show him, like, you know, I fucking loved him. And I'm living that through me. I think it's, like, such a beautiful thing. And, and that's, like kind of what you said about your friend earlier that you're inspired by, like you're learning from her. You guys are growing together to, to make you even, even better person. And that's what hard times do is make you a, such a better person. Mm -hmm. I agree. It, they're hard when they happen, but it ends softly when they're over. Yes, let's go. All right. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to read you my favorite poem. Uh, it, it means the absolute world to me. It's called The Dash. So it says, I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on her casket from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of her birth and spoke of the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time that she spent alive on earth. And now only those who loved her know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. If we could just slow down to consider what is true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel and be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that this special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spent your dash? Mm. Oh my God. That's, I've never heard that in my life. And I, oh man, that, that's emotional. Yeah. It's just like, that's what we're here. We're here to make a mark and, and, Mm -hmm. live our dash and it's so much more important than like if you go back to the success definition i read and then that like there's nothing about money there's nothing about there's just like love understanding people kindness like those are the types of things that leave a mark on the world and i think like you never know how much time you have and so that's mm -hmm. that's the punchline. i agree i agree thank you it's time Let's go. Okay, Ashley. All right. So how we wrap it up is that you get to you get to leave the audience with one final thought. It could literally be anything. And then one question. Oh man. Okay. Um I guess the, the so like part of me wants to like be be silly. Yes, like you know, outside of saying titties, you know, I could yeah. leave with that. <laughs> 
but I don't know, like, I guess the thought is like, believe in yourself, you, you know, why not you, why, like, you can do what I'm doing, you can do what gentle is doing, you can do what all the face, if you just believe in yourself, the dreams that you have are, you can do them as long as you do not lose faith in yourself. Let's go. Absolute fire. I, I just didn't. I just, I had to leave on a so titties. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. All right. Wait, leave him with a question. Leave him with a question. Okay. Let's see. If you, if you, you what would you want to have accomplished today? Let's go. Let's go. That's a thoughtful one. I love it. I love it. All right. This has been Hyped Happy Hour, episode 31 with Ashley D. She's absolutely crushing it. We cannot stop. We will not stop. We are absolutely riding. She's the queen of titties. That's it. Let's fucking go. We're riding. We are riding. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Ashley. We are crushing it.